Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some serious allegations from rapper Mac Breezy, who has called out Gucci Mane for alleged creative theft, unpaid work, and even domestic violence. The two have a history, but it seems Mac Breezy is ready to reveal what she claims has been hidden for years. Let's break down what she's saying, what it means for Gucci Man, and how this story could unfold. First up, Mac Breezy is demanding credit where she says it's long overdue. She claims to have been the first artist signed to Gucci Mane's 1017 Records and says her work helped shape some of his earliest music. Specifically, she asked for her writing credits and fair compensation, saying that everybody's eating off these records but me. Now, this isn't just about missing credits. It's about feeling robbed of the creative recognition she says she deserves. Mac Breezy mentioned she collaborated on multiple mixtapes and albums. And while she's credited on the song Go Head from Gucci Mane's debut album, Trap House. She suggests she made contributions to other tracks without receiving credit or payment. For a rapper with Gucci Mane's influence, getting this sorted could have a real impact on both sides. In one of her posts, Mac Breezy shared deeply personal allegations of domestic violence, accusing Gucci Mane of physical abuse during their six-year relationship. She wrote that despite the incident, she chose not to expose him or harm his career, even though she says she had the chance while he was on bond for another serious case. This part of her story goes beyond music, revealing what she describes as a difficult and complex past with Gucci. Allegations like these can change public perception significantly, and with such serious claims, fans and the public will be watching closely to see if Gucci addresses them. Mac Breezy didn't stop there. She's also accusing Gucci of taking her creative ideas. She described a situation where Gucci allegedly walked into a studio session she was having with Zaytoven, took inspiration from her track, The Candy Lady, and then turned it into something of his own. In her words, he ran off with the concept, later creating the music video under his Brick Squad brand. It's clear Mac Breezy feels her creative input was repurposed without her consent. If these allegations are true, they highlight just how difficult it can be for artists, especially women in the industry, to protect their work and receive recognition. Mac Breezy finished by hinting at a potential documentary titled Life After So Icy, where she might share even more about her story. As of now, Gucci Man hasn't responded to her claims. Whether he'll address them or if this story will lead to legal action is yet to be seen. We'll keep an eye on any updates, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let us know in the comments what you think about Mac Breezy's allegations and whether you believe Gucci Man should respond. Don't forget to like, share, and hit that bell icon to keep up with the latest in music industry news. See you in the next one.